Guys, hello! Okay, so I've been meaning to do this video, well, pretty much since like my first month in booktube. This is belated. I'm going to get it done because I don't want everyone to leave me, and if you remember correctly, during my autumn goals video said I would do this or you all had to stop following me, so in order to keep my friends, I am doing my giveaway announcement. <laughs> a long time about how I wanted to do a giveaway, what I could do, and then I went to Ikea. I'm not giving you anything from Ikea, but this was what sparked it is a long time ago, and I will put the tweet somewhere over here. I posted something that my boyfriend had done, which was really sweet. For every subscriber I had gotten, he put a dollar into our Pikachu tin and he hid it on top of the fridge. I eventually wanted to use the Pikachu tin and found wads of money and asked him about it and he said he was putting it away for a new bookshelf for me because I had accumulated quite a few more books. I, of course, went to Twitter and wanted to gush about it because it was such a wonderful thing and everyone started sharing and retweeting it and I ended up getting my new bookshelf, which is right here. Along with it, I also gained more subscribers. People kept subscribing in order to help like uplift me and get me my bookshelf. It was like within my first couple of months at booktube and I, I honestly, I like cried. <laughs> so we're not going to get into that though. I had been thinking for a long time, I wanted to do a giveaway and I wanted it to be big and I wanted it to be special and like close, but I didn't know how to do that. And then as I was at Ikea and brought this bookshelf home, I had money left over over and I wanted to use that money towards my giveaway. Since so many people subscribed to me in order to like help me get my bookshelf, at least checked out my channel, it was all really awesome and I definitely want to give back to that. I am doing a giveaway and this is how it's going to work. I have talked about pretty much every book on my shelf. In fact, after my announcement, I'm going to be doing my bookshelf tour. After that is done, I would like you guys to leave a comment below asking me a question because I'm going to do a Q&A when I reach 500 subscribers. Along with that, I'd also like you to leave two books that you would like that are on my shelves. So I'm giving away books that are on my shelves. They won't be these physical copies, but I will be sending those books to you. It can be any book that's on my bookshelf. The alternative to getting two books on my bookshelf is asking for a box set or series. If you get a box set or series, it will probably be paperback, but it will be a box set. I'll get you the entire set. The only thing that I can't get you on my shelves are the limited edition copies because I don't have access to them. For instance, my Raven Cycle series box, I am very sentimentally attached to. I won't be giving that away, but I can get you the Raven Cycle series. I will shove the Raven Cycle series down your throat. So you can either ask for two books that you just find interesting. They can be two different books from two different series. If you're missing the sequel to a book and I happen to have it, go ahead and you can put that down below. There's another exciting part. There's going to be not one, but two winners of this giveaway. So I will be picking both of my winners on December 8th. You have until December 7th to watch this video and leave a comment. The way you can enter to win is first be subscribed to my channel. The second is to write a question because I will be doing a Q&A once I reach 500 subscribers. And then finally write the two books or one series that you would like in a comment down below. And I will be choosing the winner on December 8th. I have this open until December 7th. After December 7th, I'm done and I'm cutting it off so that I can release the video. It'll be a really quick video just announcing the winner and then I'll have my Q&A whenever I happen to reach 500. I'm fairly close, so I think eventually I'll reach 500. I'm not expecting it to be anytime soon, but I will read off and answer the two questions of the two winners. So... If I never reach 500, at least those two questions will get answered. Um, I think that's it. Without further ado, come book shopping with me and look at my very small book collection and decide which ones you'd like. Okay, so on my first shelf, I kind of have my current favorites. So all the way to here is going to be my Maggie Steve Otter books. I have The Scorpio Races, Shiver, Linger, and Forever in the Scholastic Hardcovers, All the Crooked Saints, The Raven Boys, The Dream Thieves, Blue Lily Lily Blue and The Raven King, all part of the Raven Cycle series. And those are all housed in Maggie Siva Otter's custom-made box set. 
the Illumicrate editions of Lainey Taylor's Strange the Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares, Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi, and by Jessica Townsend, Nevermore the Trials of Morgan Crow and Wondersmith the Calling of Morgan Crow. Moving over to the same top row but on the other shelf, I have Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nung. This is the Owlcrate edition. Mirage by Samaya Dodd. This is also the Owlcrate edition. A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. This is the exclusive collector's edition. Ink by Alice Broadway. Sky in the Deep by Adrienne Young. This is also the Owlcrate edition. The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. Labyrinth Lost by Zoraida Cordova. The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. Cersei by Madeline Miller. Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. Not featured here is also Shadow and Bone and Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo, but currently those are, I think, at my grandma's. The Sweep series by Kate Tiernan, including Book of Shadows, The Coven, Blood Witch, Dark Magic, Awakening, Spellbound, The Calling, Changeling, Strife, and Seeker, Origins, Eclipse, Reckoning, and Full Circle. Below that are my graphic novels and comic books, as well as some superhero-based novels and my sci-fi. On the shelf are also some Black Series small models, Star Wars ships, and a Black Series 6-inch Ahsoka Tano. In the Avatar graphic novels, I have The Search, The Promise, and Smoke and Shadow. Then I have Afar by Leila De Luca and Kit Seaton. I have the graphic novel series Saga, and I have volumes 1 through 6. Monstrous Volume 1, Awakening by Marjorie Liu and Sana Takeda. The 75th anniversary edition of the Batman series Hush, The Court of Owls, and Dark Knight Returns by Frank Miller, Klaus Janeson, and Lynn Varley. I have two pretty random DC comics. I have DC Universe Rebirth, the Deluxe Edition, and, and Batman the Killing Joke, the Deluxe Edition. And Jeff Johns, Gary Frank, Ethan Van Scriver, Ivan Reese, and Phil Jimenez. And I have Black Panther, Book One, A Nation Under Our Feet, illustrated by Brian Stelfreeze. Paper Girls, Volume One, by Brian K. Vaughn and Cliff Chang. Miles Morales, Spider-Man, by Jason Reynolds. The Illuminae series, including Illuminae, Gemina, and Obsidio, by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Star Wars, Heir to the Empire, by Timothy Zahn. I used to have the entire series, but I'm now collecting the vintage hardbacks. And Star Wars Ahsoka by E.K. Johnston. On this shelf, I'm sorry, it's harder to see the darker books, but I will bring them out. I have more of my fantasy books. Uh, this mostly consists of my Tamara Pierce series, as well as The Name of the Wind, because it also fit on the shelf. But otherwise, this is entirely Tamara Pierce. Tortal and Other Lands, A Collection of Tales. Alana the First Adventure, In the Hands of the Goddess, The Woman Who Rides Like a Man, and Lioness Rampant. In the Immortal series, I have Wild Magic, Wolf Speaker, Emperor Mage, and Realm of the Gods. It still bothers me that these don't all match. And in the Protector of the Small series, I have First Test, Page, Squire, and Lady Knight. I then have the duology Trickster's Choice and Trickster's Queen. And then I have in the Becca Cooper Quartet, Terrier and Bloodhound. I'm missing two in this series. Finally, for my Tamara Pierce books, I have Tempest and Slaughter by Tamara Pierce. This is the collector's edition with the poster inside. And lastly on the shelf I have The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. This is the 10th anniversary edition. Also on the shelf I have a little crocheted cactus that my friend made for me and all of my magnetic bookmarks that I use for my graphic novels and comic books. Most of them are cats, one is Hagrid. One shelf down, I have a Loch Ness monster that my friend got me in Scotland, and a dragon that I think is part of the McFarlane collection, along with the map from Children of Blood and Bone in the background. On the shelf, I have more of my classic fantasy, or fantasy that is kind of a bit more nautical or out there, <laughs> dealing with magical creatures and such. I don't know quite how I categorize it, but I'm able to find it pretty easily. Starting with my Tolkien books, I have The New Tolkien Companion by J.E.A. Tyler, The Hobbit, The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King by J.R.R. Tolkien, The Magical Worlds of the Lord of the Rings, The Amazing Myths, Legends, and Facts Behind the Masterpiece by David Colbert. By Patricia Reed, I have Dealing with Dragons, Searching for Dragons, Talking to Dragons, and Calling on Dragons, The Last Unicorn by Peter S. Beagle, Summer at Castle Auburn by Sharon Shin, Wise Child and Coleman by Monica Furlong, Juniper is Missing, 
but I also own Juniper. She is with my little sister. Tiger Lily by Jodie Lynn Anderson. Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. This is the illustrated collector's edition. Daughter of the Pirate King and Daughter of the Siren Queen by Trisha Levenseller. And Marion Zimmer Bradley's The Forest House. On the same level, but to the left, I have more fantasy series. Most of these are all going to be newer fantasy series. Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagala. This is the Alcrate edition. Flame in the Mist and Smoke in the Sun by Renee Adia. By Saba Tahir, I have the Ember in the Ashes series, An Ember in the Ashes, A Torch Against the Night, and A Reaper at the Gates. A Cato Witch by Nadeo Garofalo. The Grand Phil series by K.M. Grant, Blood Red Horse, Green Jasper, and Blaze of Silver. The Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare, including City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire. These are the UK editions. Don't know if I could get more of them. I only bought them to motivate me to read them. The Balefire series by Kate Tiernan, A Chalice of Wind, A Circle of Ashes, A Feather of Stone, and A Necklace of Water. And moving down further, this area is definitely going to annoy you guys. This is my mix match area of books I just got but haven't read yet, books I've read but I don't like, and books of series I'm working on completing. So... Yeah, it's a bit of a cluster, but we're gonna go through it. We have Shigeru Mizuki's Kataro, The Great Tanuki Wars, and Shigeru Mizuki's Kataro, The Birth of Kataro. Uh, this one comes before this one. Strike and reverse it. And I have Volume 3, Devada, in the Buddha series by Osama Tezuka. Heart of Iron by Ashley Poston. This is the Owl Crate edition. Price Guide to the Occult by Leslie Walton. The Demon at Agi Bridge and Other Japanese Tales, translated by Burton Watson. The Face of Another by Kobo Abe. Night on the Galactic Railroad by Kenji Miyazawa. Chuck Palahniuk's Invisible Monsters and Lullaby. Death Note Volume 1. This is the Black Edition. A Natural History of Dragons by Mary Brennan. Wildwood by Colin Malloy, illustrated by Carson Ellis. Oz, The Complete Collection, Volume 1, by L. Frank Baum. The First in The Lunar Chronicles, Cinder, by Marissa Meyer. The Diabolic, by S.J. Kincaid. And Descender, Volume 1, Ten Stars, by Jeff Meyer and Dustin Wynn. On this shelf, I also have random things from doing some tag. My Owl Crate cup that I got in an owl crate, other random bookmarks, more of the magnetic bookmarks, and my boyfriend and I's fake prom. Moving on. On my last main shelf before I show my last two collections, I have the end of my fantasy and the beginning of my contemporary collection. As you can see, I have mostly fantasy and contemporary is fairly new for me, so be patient. <laughs> I have The Mists of Avalon by Marion Zimmer Bradley, The Queen of Camelot by Nancy McKenzie, Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, Pax by Sarah Pennypacker, The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith, Sadie by Courtney Summers, The Female of the Species by Mindy McGinnis. The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. This is the exclusive collector's edition. Little and Lion by Brandy Colbert. The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Monk Kidd. These are not fun to get out, so I'm going to leave them in here. The Penderwick series by Jean Birdsall. Uh, this ends with the Penderwicks at Last, which I believe just came out this year. Cry by E.B. Zavoy. This is the Alcrate edition. From Twinkle with Love by Sindaya Menon. This is also the Alcrate edition. Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. Modern Romance by Aziz Ansari. And In Pieces by Sally Fee. Not featured on my shelves are George R. R. Martin series, A Game of Thrones, that includes the illustrated editions, a random really cool collection that we found, uh, those are up above and they're my boyfriends. And then finally in our living room, sorry if there's an echo, we have a Harry Potter area where everything is Game of Thrones and Harry Potter. Within this section is my UK editions of the Harry Potter series. On the shelf is also all of our wands, candy, a quaffle, and then a time turner, some pencils that we also got from Owl Crate and <laughs> a feather. We have it in our living room displayed with all of our other stuff. And yeah, that is it. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you found something maybe you'd be interested in getting. And I'm going to go back to the rest of the video, which I filmed at a different time and day. Bye. This is open internationally. If USPS, Amazon, and like book depository are easily accessible in your country, it's open. Wherever you are, I have too many friends and too many countries to limit it. So I hope you're enjoying the sun or more stars wherever you are and until next time, bye! I'm not like rolling in dough. I just have what's left over. Uh, I forgot everything I was gonna say. Okay, let's do it again. Take three. One series, two books. You got this. Don't be promising in things you can't give. We're gonna try this again. Why am I always burping? I'm always burping on camera. I swear, I don't even burp in real life. I like only burp. Maybe they're nervous burps. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> she died before she could give them away. <coughs> I'm back. Oh, wow.
what a mess. <laughs>